as a part of that coaching is a is a 21 day challenge uh, really meant to restructure uh, the way you look at your day, uh, restructure the way you wake up, the way you go to sleep um, and create massive efficiencies in your life so that you can focus 100% on and then be 100% off and 100% on and 100% off. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Jack Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, That's right. Sales Wolves podcast, episode 172. And in this episode, um, I just kind of wanted to unpack some new things that I'm doing uh, in my life, uh, specifically uh, pertaining to my morning and nightly routine. And as you guys are hopefully uh, aware of by now, uh, we have launched an entirely new business called the Unbreakable Leadership Team, our Unbreakable Leadership. And we have partnered with Tom Shea, a 23-year Navy SEAL, uh, just one of the most incredible human beings I've ever had the uh, honor uh, to spend a a massive amount of time with. And I'm actually being coached one-on-one by him as well as we're uh, launching this business. And as a part of that coaching is a a 21-day challenge, uh, really meant to restructure uh, the way you look at your day. Uh, restructure the way you wake up, the way you go to sleep, um, and create massive efficiencies in your life so that you can focus 100% on and then be 100% off and 100% on and 100% off, which is something that we've talked about a lot on the podcast. Um, but this 21 day challenge is really kind of rescripting that, uh, in my brain as to what that actually looks like, because it's easy to say like, oh yeah, you want to be completely on completely focused and then, you know, take a break. But we all know what happens when you get into the routine or you get into the process of, you know, really working on something that you're passionate about. Next thing you know, three, four five, six hours goes by you can't focus for that long. And so this really creates a process in which you have to abide by these certain things and you have to get certain things done in certain amounts of time. And, and really it's kind of taking time blocking to the extreme, Uh, but looking at all areas of your life, which is what we call the five pyramids of human performance. So you have physical, intellectual, spiritual relationships and wealth. And it boils all five of those areas down to three simple things, which is Tom's new book, which the three simple things are offense, defense, and strategic. And so you get very clear on what are those things that I need to attack in my physical life, in my relationships, in my wealth building, but what are the offensive, defensive, and strategic things that I need to do? And during that hour of blocked time for wealth building on offense, that's the only thing you do is offense. But I want to specifically kind of unpack the morning and nightly routines for you guys in this episode because they're very unique. It's very different. Um, It's something that I've certainly never uh, participated in or experienced before. And today for me is day three. By the time you guys watch this episode, it'll be day 10. And so I wanted to get this out before I complete the 21 day challenge and wanted to kind of just, I don't know, plant a seed in your, in your mind, uh, that this may be something that you want to look into down the road. And so the first thing you do when you wake up, like right when your feet touch the ground, when you get out of bed, uh, you have to engage your body and wake up all five of your senses. So the first thing is to move every muscle and joint. So the first seven days of the 21 days, you do uh, 10 pushups, 10 sit-ups, 10 air squats. The next seven days, it's 20, 20, 20. The last seven days is 30, 30, 30. But it's just getting all of your joints and muscles moving. Um, then you're going to wake up all five of your senses. So for your sense of smell, you're going to smell something pleasant. So you have to have this stuff prepared and I put it next to my bed. Um, but you're going to smell something pleasant. You're going to taste something pleasant for me. I drink this lime, um, um, sparkling water and it's just refreshing, smelling, tasting to me. Um, so that's what I'm smelling and tasting. Um, there's an eye chart that if you think of, you can see this piece of paper, if you're not listening, uh, if you think of a blank sheet of paper and if you draw a line from North to South, 
east to west and then diagonally both ways and you split the page that way you start with one eye closed and you track it from the very center to the right to the top right to the top to the top left to the left all the way down all the way around then you close your other eye then you do it with both eyes open and it wakes up all of those muscles gets all of those muscles engaged uh, behind your eyes there um, then probably what's the most interesting just to do for the first few times is you have to take a horsehair brush and you have to brush every square inch of your skin and I believe this wakes up your lymphatic system, if I'm if I'm not mistaking. That could be completely wrong, uh, but it basically does the same thing that happens when you get a massage. Like it's it's waking up your skin and and um, what's right underneath your skin and getting all that stuff up and at them. Um, after that, uh, you then. Uh, read through the formulas, which is something that we'll unpack in a later podcast, but we have formulas for each of those five pyramids of human performance. So we read through the physical, intellectual and wealth formulas and then pray, meditate, whatever that looks like for you. Um, you do the exact same thing right before you go to bed. So literally like right before you're about to step into your bed, uh, you're going to do all those things again. And I remember the first day thinking like, well, that doesn't make sense. Like, what do I want to turn on all my senses and then go to sleep? Uh, but a lot of this is what happens subconsciously. It's, it's kind of um, waking up your senses so that they're activated throughout your sleep and so that you can actually, uh, while you're sleeping, be solving some of the problems that you're going through, be solving some of the uh, obstacles and struggles that, that you're facing, that you can be doing that while you're sleeping, uh, which is an interesting uh, concept to wrap your mind around. Around. Um, but so far, you know, this is day three. Um, you know, I haven't seen any huge breakthroughs other than just the uh, humor of brushing my entire body with a horsehair brush every morning and night. Um, but it's something that I'm looking forward to kind of seeing the fruit um, um, of of what this process will ultimately lead to. And, uh, and I have no idea what to expect. Uh, but I promise you on this podcast, we'll come back and, uh, recap, uh, after the 21 days and let you know how that went. And hopefully the goal is after 21 days, not to just stop doing it. It's 21 days to establish that baseline and establish that habit and that routine of, of waking up differently and going to bed differently. And for me, it's, it's more about, waking up intentionally and going to bed intentionally. Uh, I think a lot of us, um, a lot of you like me, you know, you wake up and it's like instant chaos. It's grabbing your phone. It's um, responding to emails, responding to messages, putting out fires, um, feeling like the second that you wake up, you're rushed or you're behind or somehow you need to make up time. Uh, but choosing to wake up intentionally and doing these things that you said you would do honoring your word and that you said you would do these things every morning and night. So you're going to do those things every morning and night. There's something about starting your day intentionally, uh, doing something that you, uh, purposely set out to do and then reacting to what the world would love for you to do. Uh, there's something very rewarding in that process. And I really think sets the tone, uh, for the rest of your day that when you start your day intentionally, that it allows you to then finish your day intentionally and allows you to be in control of what's happening rather than allow what's happening be in control of you. So I'm excited about this. I just wanted to unpack it so that you guys can know if you've, if you've seen my Instagram stories, you've probably seen the air squats and push ups and sit ups and like, what is this guy doing? Um, you know, it's, it's not about, uh, getting up and, you know, getting a hard workout in. it's just about waking up your body intentionally and getting your body fully ready for the day before all of a sudden the day happens and you're just in the middle of it, responding and reacting, uh, to everything that's going around, going on around you. So with that guys, this is episode 172 of the sales wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, ooh.